group of Encinitas parents are demanding answers from the Encinitas Unified School District after the district distributed a flyer promoting a boob bash. It's called the Queerest Family Friendly Drag Show. And joining me now to talk more about Tuesday's upcoming rally is a concerned mother and community activist, Carrie Prejean Bowler. Good morning. What Good an morning. honor to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, when I saw this flyer on Friday, my heart just like, <clears throat> just, it was just awful. Um, it's kind of offensive hearing that there's a drag show coming up called the Queerest Family Friend, Family, Family Friendly Event. Tell us about it. So when I heard about this, my jaw hit the floor. I was outraged at this. I, I was like, there, there, there has to be a mistake, has to be a mistake. The fact that the Encinitas Union School District sent this out to every parent in the district for kindergarten through sixth grade is absolutely appalling. The fact that they sent this out and they, they said opportunities for your child. So by then, them sending this out proves that they had approved it. And so we as parents are outraged about this. The fact that it's a family-friendly drag show, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a family-friendly drag show. I've never seen a family-friendly strip show. We don't want either. And so parents are outraged about this and we want answers. We wanna know how this got approved and we want accountability. The school district has not taken any responsibility at all. And so we're going to hold a rally on Tuesday, and we want the community to show up and show, our, show their support for us. But for a school to have an event like this and use the term queerest, many parents um, we have been reaching out to saying it's just so offensive. Mm -hmm. And who is this even sponsored by? Thank you for asking. You are not going to believe this. This is sponsored by a sex change surgical center in San Francisco called Align Surgical Center. Um, the fact that they think that us taxpayers are going to provide the kids and ultimately become patients of theirs is a disgrace and they should be embarrassed. And we want answers, like I said. So this is not the end of it. This is just the beginning. Um, it's also sponsored by uh, Rich's Nightclub. It's a gay nightclub in San Diego. Um, if you look at the website for the event, it says that this event is specifically for trans kids and their families. Why is our kids be, why are our kids being invited to this? If it's for trans kids, why are our children being yeah. invited? When I saw the flyer on Friday, it just I couldn't believe it. It just didn't make sense to me. Like, wait, what is this? A boo bash? You know, is this is this for adults? But it's for children, which is upsetting. Yeah. So on Tuesday, you're hosting the rally. Mm -hmm. Who can attend? Anybody that wants to attend can attend. And we've already let them know that we will be there. Parents, taxpayers, um, grandparents, we wanna invite the community to show up and we will be speaking and we will be asking them for answers. There's been many parents who have um, emailed the school and they've refused to respond to any emails. And how was this flyer sent out? Via email? Was it yes. sent home with the kids? Yes, so there's a, uh, it's called Peach Jar. So it's, it has to be approved by the district in order for, it's very strict. They have a policy where it can't be lewd, it can't be obscene, it can't be political, it can't be controversial. If this isn't lewd and obscene, a drag show, and controversial, I don't know what is. So they violated their own policy. We do have a lawyer involved, uh, Paul Jonah. He's been amazing. And he's going to represent us parents because this is, this is not right. And it's time that the school district be held accountable for this violation of a parental right. We should be able to discuss what queer is to our kids, not the school district. They need to stay in their lane and teach reading, writing, math, and arithmetic, and not talk to them about LGBT, trans, uh, what a sex change, none of that. It does not belong in our schools. And when was this flyer sent out? It was sent out a couple weeks ago. Okay, and this Boo Bash drag show is supposed to be on October 29th, yes. Saturday. Yes. So far, since this has been, you talked about with among parents, mm -hmm. what is the response that you're getting? Oh my gosh. It's, I've never seen the, even during COVID, I've never seen the amount of people reach out to me and the community because we have requested public records from the district. So we've seen emails, We've heard voicemails. We're entitled to all that as taxpayers. You would not believe the collusion that has gone on between the district, principals in the district, calling parents homophobes, H-O-M-E, you know, making fun of stay-at-home moms, saying that we're hateful, that they can't believe that we're not, you know, um, 
understanding of the LGBT community. That's not what this is about. Like I said, we don't want strip, strip shows and we don't want drag shows, period. This isn't political. Yeah, and you've been a mom and a community activist across the state. Yes. How are you feeling about education today? Because we're constantly talking about critical race theory, mm -hmm. gender studies being pushed on kids uh, K through 12. You being a mom and you're seeing what your kids go through, mm -hmm. your, your son and their friends. What do you think about education today? I've already pulled my kids. It's unfortunate that I as a taxpayer can't my, send, send my kids to the school a minute away from my house. That's unfortunate, that's sad to me. But I have no choice because I'm not going to send them to be indoctrinated every single day. They spend, you know, seven, eight hours with their teacher and this is what they're teaching. You know, we don't stand a chance as parents. If we don't educate them, someone else will and they will indoctrinate them, which is exactly what they're doing. But we're not going to let them get away with it. So I've pulled my kids. They're now homeschooled. But I know that not every parent has that luxury to be able to do that. So I'm standing up for those kids, you know, those parents who work two jobs that, you know, might not have seen the fine print of the flyer. but. They might send their kid, not knowing that this is not appropriate for our youth. We have a large group of parents in the district that are just not okay with this. No. There could be a chance that the district may cancel this drag show coming up on October 29th. So it's not put on by the district, but they promoted it. So right. it's a community event. And the community person that is having this event, they're doubling down. They're saying that th the show will go on and that you know, the drag show will go on and the queerest Halloween party of all and invite your kids. So that's their stance. They're promoting it. They're exactly. promoting it. Yeah. Okay. So Tuesday night, you're going to yes. have the rally at 430. Where exactly yes. is it going to be? Thank you for asking. Yes. It's going to be at the Encinitas Union School District. We're going to start the rally about 430. Um, we'd like the press. The press will be there. Um, we're going to actually have three board members who are running for office currently that are going to be attending. Um, we're going to have some um, candidates running for mayor that are going to be there. And we want this to be a nonpartisan event. So Democrat, Republican, whether you are you know, for LGBT or against it, we want to come together as a community. This is not what it's about. We're not going to let them polarize us. This is about parental rights and stop sexualizing our kids. That's what this is about. I'm sure many of our viewers are probably cringing right now, thinking, you've got to be kidding me. A community event like this and the school district is promoting it. They thought they could get away with yeah. it. Yeah. Well, Carrie Prejean, Bowler, thank, thank you. you so much for your time. Nice so to good meet to you. see you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> thank you.